Hey. Hey, thanks guys for joining me here on YouTube. I am getting ready for work. We'll be headed out, but I want to talk about some things with reproductive rights again. Let's talk about Gloria Steinman for a minute. So thanks for joining me here to talk about pro-life stuff. Um, so how did Gloria Steinman succeed in life? What was it that made her succeed? I think she um, definitely became a voice for a lot of women who were motherless, who felt like they couldn't talk to their moms. They didn't know how to um, talk about sex with their moms. And she talks about how um, she started her journey with a story. She says that she was able to tell a story, her unique experience, and that's how she started um, just being an advocate, telling her story. And, of course, she had an abortion in London, I believe. And um, so she tries to um, not just relate to the younger woman, but they she has like some truth, right? Where, you know, she says, you know, we all have somebody to talk to, you know, we are each other's friends. We have a support group, you know, that type of thing with the very fact that she's talking about killing children, right? And it's so deceptive. So there's some truth and lies mixed in there together. And I think, um, the thing that she did was, you know, try to bond people together and a lot of women who come from either domestic abuse, real, real bad domestic abuse, um, with feeling like they have nowhere to go, or a family with a lack of support, it's very easy to go to someone like Gloria Steinman and be like, you know, I need a mother to talk to. I need somebody who I can relate to. So I think this is how she got a lot of her success. Um, she's still talking about women's rights, and if you listen to her, uh, she's just got a real, uh, casual manner about her, uh, right now. Um, and I'll be doing more videos about her and how she succeeded in life, um, along with Margaret Singer, and looking into other women who have tried to, uh, mislead many women they have misled many women on the wrong path and continue to do so so we want to point women to christ to god not to uh you know this this advice that's just so misleading and so wrong and so ugly and hurtful and damaging to women okay so thanks for joining me guys i will be talking to pregnancy centers uh, today and I will be talking about finances things you can do I knew you know I did know that things would be getting tighter in our economy um, you know with losing the house and you could kind of see the way things are going so we want to you know find more ways to be resourceful to help each other okay thanks for joining me guys